Did you know you can pull precious silver out of gray rocks using cooked rice? First, she gathers galena ore, which is rich in lead and silver. It has to be crushed into a fine powder and sifted. But here is the genius part. She mixes the ore dust with sticky cooked rice. This acts as a binder to hold the dust together and adds carbon for the chemical reaction. She forms them into ore balls and lets them dry. Next, the balls go into a furnace layered with charcoal. She uses a hand-pumped bellows to drive the temperature over 1,000 degrees Celsius. This smelting process melts the lead and silver out of the rock, while the carbon from the charcoal strips away the oxygen. It looks intense, but we aren't done yet. After the initial melt, she retrieves a rough chunk of metal. Now comes the ancient technique called cupellation. She places the metal into a cupel made of bone ash. Under high heat and airflow, the lead oxidizes and gets absorbed into the porous ash cupel, literally sinking away, while the silver, which doesn't oxidize, remains floating on top as a shiny bead. She repeats the process to ensure every bit of lead is removed. Once the bead cools and solidifies, she cleans off the oxidation. A little hammering to flatten it out, and look at that, from a dirty rock to a pure, shining silver button. It takes hours of labor for just a few grams.